For the assembly part, I'm going to start with the undercarry. And we have here, this is the undercarrier for the right part. And we have right and left. And also the front of the part and the two wheels here. This is for the track support and this one goes here. And this part is a separator that has a, a treading here so an M5 can go here uh, go over there here and join these two parts. So let's start with the assembly of these ones. The pieces are clear now from the support and uh, we are going to insert these bearings, 5mm bearings here and here. And for this one, because it's a little insert here, we can use this piece to press the belt, to press it here in this position. Not too much pressure here and it's already done. I usually sand the pieces before gluing it. So the glue can have a more surface to grip. Before applying the glue, I use the five millimeter threaded row to screw it using these nuts and also here a three millimeter screw to check that everything fixed together and the position is correct so i'm going to use these ones also to hold the two pieces while i'm gluing the the pieces This glue is like a foam and it's going to expand and fill all the spaces that we have. And we'll leave it until it's right. We repeat the same steps for the wheels. We need to put these bearings inside. We first sand this one, put the bearings inside and then put the glue and the clamps. For the front wheel we have this piece that will hold some compression springs and here it has two holes where we can use M3 screws or this special type of screws and we put it here. And then we put the springs on it. The way to assemble the tracks is the following. I 3D print each piece this way. So it has a support here and it's solid in this part here. And this is a piece already clean. Then using a bit that is a little bit bigger than the M3 screw, I clear that part and then I connect 
the two pieces together with the screw. So the part that is going to hold the screw are the outer parts and it's going to use I'm going to use thread lot here and then in the inner part is is this inner part is only going to pivot. Have it. We need 45 of these individual pieces together and the whole undercarriage of the bulldozer and the, the whole bulldozer is designed based on these on these tracks. So also the sprout that you can see right here. These are two pieces, it's using the same technique that the other pieces with the glue and they have a bevel here on the side and also this is calculated to have all these inner screws together with these sprouts so that it can be more contact surface when this one is rotated and it has less wearing with the time so it's going to last longer the glue is already dry and i remove all the excess and it's clean right now we have the bearings here and it's ready to continue the assembly also the wheels i'm going here so let's proceed with this tensioner. Uh, it has to go here. It has two holes there. And we have to use the drill to open it a little bit so it can be fixed here. We do a test and it's bouncing back. Now this area here, inner area, is good for adding weight but because my weights are a little delayed, I am not putting it right now, but I will put it later. Now let's assemble the front wheel. It's the turn now of the back wheel. the rollers we have these two bearings that has a little part here that goes out and we have a 3d printer separator between the two bearings to keep it uh, open for the track and we assemble the same thing for all the bearings here in total there are one two three four five six seven eight rollers all the rollers now are in position and they roll freely and then we can test it with the tracks that are already printed and they should move it smoothly for the roller support that is going to in the top it's this piece here we use these rollers and then a 3D print separator and this is an M3 screw now we cool the track or undercarrier is complete Now we have the left and the right part of the chassis together 
with the motor and it's already wiring and here on the left part we have these two pins that are already screws here in the, on the motor and the function of that is that it's going to be connected to this part here so prevent to prevent that this one flex in this way I also has the bottom part ready with the balancing bar for the tracks here and this rod, threaded rod also insert here at the bottom part we have to insert these 3 millimeter nuts and then we assemble the front of the chassis with the bottom of the chassis using 3 millimeter screws and 3 Now we bring the left part of the chassis with the central part. And using tiny uh, N2 by 6, we connect. This is a time when you can start adding weights here and here before closing this area. We can connect now the right part. And here we start screwing this one when we are sure that they are together. So we screw it until the center. Now for the back part, we use M3 threaded rods to reinforce all this part here. And then we put nuts at the end. Now we can insert the 5mm threaded rod that is going to pivot the undercarriage and it has to have has to go through the bearings and it has to have some space here to get the nut. We don't need any nut here since the 3D printers already have the thread for the 5mm threaded rod, so we only insert it this way. And of course, for the final assembly, you have to put some lot thread for not losing the, the position. Here is the assembly with the two undercarriage parts. Now we need to put some nuts here and five. Now here we insert the sprout until the center line of the gear is coinciding with the center line of the undercarriage. And then with the marker we mark the part 
where we have to make a mark with the Dremel. Now we have the mark with the Dremel, we have to insert this decoration part here and then the sprout. Now using this opening we can insert the screw set that is going to put in place the sprout. The assembly looks really impressive and strong. We can proceed now to install the tracks. To install the tracks, I decide that have access to the screws and also that this bottom part is always going on the back. These are the highest part of the track. So it can be protected from the dirt by, by this part here. And the tracks are complete. For the front braid, we have two pieces the front and the back. And for the front part, we have two options. We have this one with this cut out here. So we can put a metal piece of sheet here and make it stronger. Or we can 3D print the one that doesn't have that option and it's all 3D printed. The procedure here is sanding these two, pa two parts and then glue it together and secure with these screws here. And for the metal part, I will make some holes here with these tiny screws. These are M2 by 6 and secure that here. We mark the holes where we want the first screw on the corners to be. And we make the holes and then we do the division for how many screws we want here in the middle. We make the hole, then we mark the holes and then we put the screws. We have all the holes now and we have to proceed to screw, screw the screws and put this piece together. And here we have the blade already attached. Now we sand the two pieces. And as well see the glue, get a better attach. Better glue. We put the glue and then we secure with these two M3 by 8. 